Sheryl Cole dhe Parachute jeni në programin në mëngjezit në Klian Kusova FM që e lisyt më arin në tedin dhe të gjysë ishtë edhe më erët edhe me abin në mëngjez është një mëngjez i bukur kështu nga aspekti meteorologik në Republika në Kosovës por shpresoj se do tjetë edhe një jave sukseshme nuk është një jave mirë për botën për qytetrimin sepse lufta po vazhdon ka hyu në vitin e dytë luftës dhe si që kemi pala emruar është një intervjistë të shkurtur me zotin Kenneth Anderson i cili është profesor në Universitetin në Norvegji dhe i cili është një mek i Kosovës një njëri i cili ka shurbyr filimisht dashuria ti me Kosovën ka filluar kur ka shurbyr si pjestar i forca e pacrujt se të këforit kontingentit Norvegjes e pastaj edhe ka vazhduar në me punën e ti duke u kyqur në shumë konferenca, workshope, ishtë profesori regullt dhe një nga njërësit më meritor pëse shteti Norvegjis investoj në një nga projektet më të mira medjale kjatë si cili përfundaj si si përfundaj pra presori i studime medjale në Universitetin e Agder në Christian Sand është Kenneth Anderson në do të klasim anglesht dhe unë do të përkthej ka pak shqip Kenneth, good morning I know that it's a bit tricky this morning first morning after the changing of time you know, I don't get it was it earlier or later I don't know if it's the weather the the time uh, the, the clock changed at you yours so thank god we i have you here right in time uh, good morning um it's uh, the second month episode two of the war in ukraine how is all this uh, being followed uh, in in and, and touched in norway which is uh, actually quite close to the all the things pretty much much closer than we are but we saw uh, a, a launching of, of of a missile ending up in uh, in zagreb Yes, good morning, Adi, uh, and thank you for having me uh, in your uh, show. Um, the, uh, regarding the time, we I think we changed the same time, so we are on track now. Well, uh, this war, it's, um, it is really um, taking much of the attention of the news also here. Um, in, uh, in northern Norway, uh, we have a short border with Russia, and um, what we are discussing you know is is there any um is there any chance of uh, russia you know let's say attacking norway in the north but i think norway is way way da down on the list in, uh, in terms of uh, potential other countries um i think now uh russia has more than let's say more than enough uh, in uh, in uh, ukraine uh, more than uh, enough we... troubles uh, to think to attack another one probably it is it is, and uh, there's a there's a there's a um, big harbor in the north, Murmansk, which has a lot of um, nuclear weapons, and uh, and of course Norway, being a NATO member, it's very closely monitored by NATO and by the Norwegian Marine and the Navy. So, um, but uh, but we are you know thinking about it sometimes, but um, I think all our now is in Ukraine and what the horrible things that is going on there after the uh, invasion. Po, pra, Zoti Andersen Kennedy thotë se, po, natërësht jemi duke e përcjelur Ukrajinën e luftën, Norvegia ka një një pik kufitare, një 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 cop vi kufitare të përbashkët, por besojnë që Ukrajinë e Rusia ka shtetë tjera, apo ka probleme tjera, si të mëtë Ukrajinë për të sëtëmuar, me gjithë thatë, natërësht jemi duke shqyquar, sepse në pjesën veriore gjendet një sistem raketor nuklear dhe duke qenë se NATO është antar, Norvegia është pjesë se NATO atëre, Jan Duke Mbojtur në në vëzhgjem. Kenneth, you are a media studying, but before that you were serving in Kosovo as part of Norway contingent in K4. Give us your military perspective. What is going on during the first month, or as I love to say, first episode, first season, because I think that the second season is the final one, and in the end we still don't know it. Pro, Zoti Kristiansen, Zoti Andersen, ka shurbyr si pjesë e kontingentit të këforit Norvegjes në Kosovë dhe për e pës për perspektiven mi ushtarake në da sojë si që ka pëndohë në Ukrajin. Well, I think after my time in K4, as you said, my military expertise is mostly from the Balkans and also from being enlisted in the Norwegian Reserve Army. But my, my primary, 
experience is uh, in media? Well, I think um, if I should dare to have a short analysis, I think um, Russia has underestimated uh, the will to um, defend um, Ukraine. I think uh, the, mo the mobilization, which is very hard, that all men have to take part of it, plus the, uh, the training and the morale in the um, Ukraine army is... Um, is extraordinary and uh, I think all of us are you know, looking at, from the outside we um, we know that NATO cannot let's say intervene because it's not a NATO uh, country but um, I really um, I wish we could help more I, I, I wish the NATO could help more than we're doing today Po, është të vërtit që ekspertiza ime ushtarake ka përshuar, është lanë anash që nga momenti kër e kom përfunduar shërbimin, ta që në pjesë e forca dhe rezervë, si pjesë pjesë e forca rezervë të ushtrisë norvegjese, por besoj dhe po e vrej që Putini e ka nënë lërsu faktikisht Ukrajinën dhe ata janë duke bërë një luft të pashoq, fakti që nuk asë të gjithë të të mejtë dhe një gjashë dhejtë, pro s'ko kilimelit të gjithë dhe të të mejtë dhe një gjashë dhejtë po luftojnë dhe janë në një motiv shumë të lartë dhe kjo është diqka që në ka befasuar. Kenneth, you know, I had a very good friend, rest in peace, Arush Abion, he was a KLA volunteer, but also he was in Bosnia, in Croatia, a very, very dear friend of mine, he died after the war, he was a volunteer in Macedonia. How many Norwegians, because he and also a lot of others, there was an Englishman, there was a guy from Israel, Israel, uh, there was a French guy who I, 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 I salute him wherever he is. Uh, he's a good friend of mine from Marseille. Uh, uh, are Norwegians, uh, you said, not uh, you wish we could help more, but I see in the news in CNN, BBC, that uh, people from all over the world are helping. Somebody's getting a family in, the, in their home, somebody's uh, volunteering, uh, there's a legion of foreigners. How this uh, is, is, is followed in, in uh, or somebody just doing a tweet, uh, stand with Ukraine like I do and doing my show because uh, I'm not good <laughs> in other things. Uh, how is, um, uh, in, how much is involved Norway in all this, helping Ukraine? Because they are fighting for us, isn't it? Yeah, Two. Uh, that's, that's a very good question. Well, we, there are various ways that Norway is uh, involved. Uh, one, maybe the most important thing is to help the, uh, the refugees now. We're receiving um, probably they're estimating somewhere between 30,000 and 100,000 uh, refugees. Uh, they are kind of planning for 30,000. And also there are many people going, you know, privately with buses to the border and picking them up and driving them to, to Norway um, uh, because they're waiting for the government uh, to act because, you know, many feel that the Norwegian government is... Uh, acting slowly, even though now they're the system is starting to to be um, to be in place. So I think um, I think that will be a um, a good help. Well, actually, Norway is is also, of course, trying to to push in the um, in the um, uh, UN Security Council, which is Norway's member now, is trying to push politically. Even though we know that the UN can't do very much uh, right now, and also through the the NATO, and also through Jens Stoltenberg, which is the Norwegian Secretary General of NATO. So they're kind of pushing, but we know that it's very limited how much uh, we can do. And also we are, supply, uh, we are supplying with some, um, some weapons. So, you know, there uh, are things happening here and there, but I think most of us are looking at it and wish that, you know, we, you, we could help more. But, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, but reality is it is like that. Po pro e pyetja në sorç të involuar në Norvegjia, Norvegjia po ndihmon, po merr 30000 refugjat, do ta rrit numrin, ka njerëz që shkojnë atje, nuk po e prisin qeverinë. Natyrisht Norvegjia po mënohet edhe në përmjet faktit se Stoltenbergi është norvegjez edhe në këshillën sigurimit, por diet që kombe të bashkuara nuk funksionojnë, kështu që po Norvegjia është involuar, njerëzit edhe un personalisht do të zotë Janssen do donim që të 
Monin Mushum. At the end, uh, Kenneth, one last question, which is, I think, one million dollar question. I believe that this is the last month, and we know now that uh, Putin or, or, or some negotiations are starting today in Turkey uh, between uh, Ukraine and Russia. We see that uh, seven generals are killed. We see that Ministry of Defense is not appearing. We see that uh, Commander in Chief. We have news that uh, 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 one battalion killed their own commander because they uh, didn't have food or something like that, misunderstanding. Maybe some of these news are part of the propaganda war, which is legitimate rule uh, tool when you are in war. How is this all going to end? Uh, uh, because I asked Anna, your colleague, uh, to Anna Dileli, we say salute to her. I had it twice and, uh, in, in, in the show and uh, probably during the week. Uh, so this is a million dollar question, but how do you see the end of this? Well, you're right. It's a very difficult question. Well, I, I hope you're right that it might be the last month, but I am, I'm fearing that uh, the Russians will not give uh, give up um, that part uh, of Ukraine that they have um, have the most fighting in. I think uh, there might be a possible, you know, uh, compromise that uh, Ukraine will have to give up some control, but, but I, I, I really don't know. I. I know that uh, the Russian attitude towards um, towards civilians um, and and towards uh, civilian loss is totally different from from yours and mine. Uh, you know, looking at uh, collateral damage um, on, in a different way. So they are willing to sacrifice, as you said, um, a lot in their in their eyes. But this is, um, I, mean, I think. Th the damage between Russia and the rest of the world uh, has been done for many, many, many years. I think uh, this will be very hard to reinstate Russia in any co any form of um, international cooperation because they have trusted all the rules, or they have uh, broken all the rules, and uh, hopefully uh, some of them will be also indicted and judged in the International Court of Justice. Uh, yes, uh, Kenneth, I agree with you totally, and I hope uh, the, the Russian people will rise up, or somebody in the in the chain of command, or, 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 or I don't know, uh, will come to senses. Thank you very much. And uh, Norway calling. I have a lot of friends, Albanians, living uh, in, in Norway, and I know that in Finland uh, we are listened. So cheers when you come in Pristina. You have a beer for me. Thank you, and. Uh... Uh, my greetings back to you and to your listeners, and thank you for having me on the show. Thank no, you. thank you. Thank you very much.